What's going on, everybody? It's just another day in the kitchen, back with another episode, and today we got to take a look at Travis Scott's Rodeo. Now, this video takes us back all the way to 2015, and we're going to be taking a look at the Rodeo merch, and I want to get your thoughts on it. Now, this Rodeo merch release was kind of hard to cover because this was eight years ago, so I did my research and I did my best to actually cover authentic items, and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Before we go any further, I also wanted to point out, in case you missed it, that today Travis posted on his Instagram story previewing a brand new colorway for his upcoming Nike Jordan collab for the Nike Cut the Checks. Personally, I think these are super hard, and let me know in the comments if you're going to try to get your hands on them. Now, back in 2015, XXL Magazine covered the rodeo drop, and as you can see from Travis's name, he still had the dollar sign in his name back then. So for those of you that didn't know, now you know. When it comes to this actual rodeo merch, it was hard to find pricing, but I did see that the collection ranged anywhere from $18 to $275. And I also wanted to point out that I know I've been covering all of his other album releases, so I just wanted to shout out everybody that recommended that I make this rodeo merch review along with a couple of other real ones that I've been talking to, so I appreciate every single one of you. Now, if you didn't know, back in 2015, the album was super hyped up given that it was his first debut album and it initially released on September 4th, 2015. I wanted to point out that on the rodeo tour, he was on tour with Young Thug. And shout out to my guy Jeffrey one time. Everybody drop a free Young Thug in the comments. And this rodeo tour was super important for Travis because it laid the foundation for him to see just how lit and live his shows would be as long as how hard his fans would go. I also wanted to point out my favorite song on the album features Bieber, of course that's Maria I'm Drunk, and let me know your favorite song in the comments. Now when it comes to merch, the first thing I have to cover is of course the most iconic piece from the collection. And you might be wondering what that is, and we're actually looking at it right now. On the rodeo cover, Travis Scott used an action figure that he then ended up dropping on his website. Now, like I said, the actual website itself was hard to find. However, I was able to find the screenshot of when the actual toy or action figure dropped. And let me know in the comments if you think this thing is hard. I definitely regret not being able to get my hands on it back in the day. Now, while we're looking at the actual drop from the website, I want you guys to think about just how much you would actually pay for this. If you ended up guessing that the retail for this was going to cost $150, you were correct. And you might be thinking that's a little bit steep for an action figure, but let's go ahead and take a look at just how much it costs today if you wanted to get your hands on it. Yup, you see that right, the last sale was $880. And it's not uncommon for sales of the action figure to go over $1,000. So if you want to get your hands on them, I wish you the best of luck. And let me hold a couple bucks. Now, when it comes to this merch, it was very different from the rest of his album merch drops because it was only available for 72 hours. So if you weren't able to cop within the first three days, you were out of luck. Now, before we get into the rest of this collection, I also wanted to start off by showing off my favorite t-shirt. The retail on this was apparently $40, and personally, I think it's a great pickup. Especially eight years later, I think it still fits even with this Utopia aesthetic and collection. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, it was a little bit difficult to do research on this merch drop because it was eight years ago and there wasn't a whole lot of information available. And yeah, you can always Google Travis Scott Rodeo merch, but there are so many fake pieces, I wanted to make sure that we only focused on the ones I can guarantee were real and part of the drop. A lot of people have made a lot of money making fake merch, and that's not something I wanted to cover in this video, but to each their own. As you can see, the merch was pretty limited in terms of the amount of tees and hoodies. However, there was still variety all the way back in 2015, a whole eight years ago. The drop also featured some pretty dope socks we're going to take a look at in just a moment, an iPhone case, which you can tell just how dated that model was, and something we've seen in every single album merch drop apart from Utopia, some kind of smoker item such as a lighter, or in this case, an ashtray as well. So I think it's safe to say that my boy La Flame definitely had us stoners in mind, and shout out to all of y'all that are geeked while watching this video. Now if you're like me, whenever I don't know something I go to Reddit, and I was actually able to find some dope information about shipping when it comes to this merch. Even for you international people, I feel for you for this Utopia drop, but take a look at the fact that this person bought three items and it was only 28 US dollars to ship to Australia. Next up, we've got somebody that lived in Canada that was able to pick up a rodeo merch tee for only $12. And I think that's pretty crazy because I know some of you guys were getting hit with fees all the way up to 50, 60 bucks just to ship an item. So I feel for you guys and shout out to all of you international ragers. And next up, we're looking at the rodeo bomber jacket collection that Travis was wearing at the beginning of this video. 
The retail on this ran up to $275 and I read that the quality was horrible and a lot of people <laughs> regretted picking it up, which is kind of disappointing. And I also read that the majority, if not all of the rodeo merch was printed on low quality stuff like Gildan material. And back in 2015, it wasn't the greatest. Now next up, we're looking at one of my favorite hats Travis has ever dropped, which is the Rodeo Dad hat right here. And if you wanted to add this one to your collection, it was going to cost you a retail price of $40. My favorite feature is probably this Rodeo stitching that's on the back of the hat, and as somebody that wears a lot of hats, I know I was going to wear the hell out of this one if I ever got my hands on it. As you can see, it doesn't really have a shape or structure, which might mean it's kind of low quality, but I'm not going to hold it against La Flame because, of course, this was part of his first ever merch drop, so it is what it is, and I know the quality of his hats and his merch have definitely gotten better over the years. Now, one thing I always appreciated about Travis is the fact that he actually wore his merch. The same pieces that were available to fans, he was always spotted repping them, and I know so many artists that have just dropped merch and are never spotted wearing it, which I think kind of takes away from how special these actual collections are. Here's another low quality picture, but as you can see, La Flame was faded and still spotted wearing his own damn rodeo merch. So shout out to you, Travis. Now next up, we're taking a look at this dope A-Team jacket, which featured some pretty hard emblazoned patches. As you can see, we've got the flag of Texas, the Cactus Jack logo, a horseshoe, and some more rodeo branding, which honestly, I think is really sick. These next few pieces I don't think are super crazy, but again, they feature the rodeo branding and the always present and always famous cactus that Travis Scott has adopted and incorporated into his style. Now this next hoodie I think is super generic and it's just a stock photo of some flames. However, I get it because we're talking about none other than Travis Scott, AKA La Flame. But I will also point out that the hoodies were going anywhere from 55 to $75. Next up, we're looking at a dope tee here that features the disassembled Travis Scott Rodeo action figure. And honestly, if I could go back in time, I would definitely pick it up. Here's the first long sleeve that we have available to us. And the funny thing about this is I've actually seen that cactus as a stock image when I've tried to create Travis Scott thumbnails. So that one's kind of lazy. And following up with the cactus here, of course, Travis had to drop some cactus themed leggings. I couldn't find an exact price on retail for these, but again, I think they're a little bit lazy, but also kind of hard at the same time. Now this next rodeo merch tee is actually really hard, and I think it's a dope tribute to the old vintage wrap tees we used to see. And personally, I really like it because it really shows how much Travis's merch has matured and evolved over the last eight years leading up to the most recent Utopia drops. Now personally, I think that the Rodeo 3-pack of socks was actually really dope, and for a price of $25, it's about standard when it comes to these merch drops. And I think they're definitely pieces that I would wear myself, especially along with some dope Travis Scott sneakers. So let me know in the comments if you agree, and what's your favorite merch piece that we've seen so far? Now coming up, we've got to take a look at these dope Rodeo-themed Zippo lighters. If you didn't know, the Zippo brand has been around since like World War II, and they're very iconic lighters. Even if you're not a smoker, I think that these would be really sick and dope to add to anybody's collection. And I personally like this one right here, which has the now iconic burning cactus, which was only seen during this rodeo era. Next up, of course, we've got the ashtray to go with this collection when you're smoking. And personally, I think that that horse head or cow's head is really dope, although I don't think I would actually use this ashtray and I would more so keep it as kind of a collectible because I think it's pretty hard. Now, I wanted to include some comments all the way back from eight years ago, just so you could see how far opinions have changed. Someone goes on to call Travis Scott a flavor of the month, and a lot of people were saying that back in the day, he wasn't rapping about anything. Now, I wanted to take the time to also point something out about accessibility when it comes to this merch. This drop was eight years ago, and if you really want to get your hands on it, there are some legit pieces out there. I did find some on this website called Grailed, which is super famous for selling streetwear stuff like this. But my biggest advice and opinion when it comes to looking for this merch, because there is so much bootleg and fake pieces out there that you remember my number one rule. If the price is too good to be true, it probably is. But to show you an example of one of the tees I highlighted in this video, this price of 283, formerly 350, would make sense given that the tee is eight years old. Always check out the history of the seller, and as you can see, this person has 146 reviews, and apparently it's also been authenticated, as you can see from this little guarantee right here. So just keep that in mind if you're really trying to get yourself some real pieces from this rodeo merch era. Now with that, I just had to highlight the fact that Travis has definitely come a long way. From the rodeo action figure to Utopia that we've had now, I think it's safe to say as a fan since then that this dude does not miss. And if you made it this far, at this point, let me know what your favorite merch drop has been from all of his albums. 
I just wanted to shout out every single one of you that watches these videos and has subscribed over the last few weeks. Making these videos has definitely been the highlight of my day and interacting with you guys and seeing your comments definitely motivates me to keep going. And I know I can't keep making Travis Scott merch videos forever, so if you guys want to see me cover other artists, let me know in the comments and also what other types of videos you'd like to see. And of course, I'll go ahead and make a video when the Utopia Tour does finally get announced as well, so I could go ahead and also talk about how I'm going to be giving away a free ticket to the upcoming Utopia Tour. Now, with that being said, guys, I appreciate all of you for checking this video out, for staying around, for subscribing. And as always, guys, stay safe in the kitchen. It's lit. Straight up in peace.